students i am ishan trivedi assistant professor civil engineering department welcome you in the video lecture series today we are going to discuss about land use planning topics to be covered in the sessions are land use planning and its introduction various land use models such as concentric model sector model and multi nuclei model before starting let us understand what is land use plan it is the planning of town according to the use of land land use planning is actually a result of society's interest about the approach pattern of land uses in future it suggests a pattern of land use according to its resources capacity consist with its sustained uses without any degradation we have to understand here that as we discussed in surveys that entire thing in the town is depend upon two things that is our behavior or our interest and our activity from home to workplace here in land use planning how our interest is there how our approach towards different land uses of a town at present and even in future land use planning is the process of evaluating land and alternative pattern of land uses and other a physical social and economic condition for the purposes of selecting and adopting those kind of land uses and course of action which is best suited to achieve specified objectives here three terms has been emphasized that is of physical social and economical condition of the town so town is not a part of any physical infrastructure town is existing due to its social as well as economical activities which is happening in day to day basis furthermore as urban areas have grown over the time they have become complex and the different activities that has taken place means that the way which humans use the land changes throughout the urban area and on basis of that the land use models are classified in three parts that is concentric zone model sector model and multi nuclei model you have to remember all this list out the figure with its detailing so let us start with concentric zone model the concentric zone model is also known as a burgess model it is one of the earliest theoretical model to explain the urban social structure this concentric model depicts the land use in concentric ring or you can say central cbd or you can say central business district which is in the middle of the model and the town expanded in the rings with different land use this zone includes the center or you can say the cbd the transition zone of mix residential and commercial uses third is zone of independent workers home like you can say low income class residential home fourth circle is of zone of better resident you can say middle class residential home and the last one is zone of commuters those who can afford to travel from outer zone to cbd now let us discuss these things in detail the size of the ring may vary but the order of this 
defined zone remains the same. This model suggests that as the social structure extends outward from the CBD, it means that the lower class live closer to the town center while upper class live away from the town center because they can afford to commute. Also, as we get further away from the center of the town, the population density decreases. You have observed in your town, like if you are living in Ahmedabad, Baroda, Rajkot or city or Surat, you have found that certain class of activities is done on that CBD area or you can say central area. At this peripheral area, low income group or low class residential homes are there. As we go away from that city center, you will find the middle age group or middle class group and at the outer peripheral, there is zone of commuters who can afford to travel. So in central area, there are of residential and commercial activities, which is one of those major attraction of commuters. An important feature of this model is the positive correlation of socio-economic status of households with the distance from the CBD. This means that if you have higher income, your house is away from the town. If you are not rich, you cannot afford to travel, even it is difficult to live with maximum requirement. So you will be nearness to that CBD area where you have your workplace. If you are in the category of larger income group, you are away from the town. However, this model has its weakness. It does not take into account any physical barriers like railway, roadway, river body or canal. And it does not take into account the gentrification which may occur in the town. So this is what the concentric model. Now understand second model that is sector model. The sector model also known as Hoyt model. It was proposed in 1939 by economist Homer Hoyt. It is a model of urban land use and modified the concentric zone model of a city development. So you can say it is modified version of concentric zone model. The benefits of the application of this model includes the fact that it allows for an outward progression of the growth. As with all simple models of such complex phenomenon, its validity is limited. In developing this model, Hoyt observed that it was common for low income household to be nearer to the railroad lines and commercial establishment to be along the business through fare. You can see here, nearness to the CBD and the transportation industry, there is low income group which has been developed along the major transport or rail route. And low residential units are developed along these wage shapes. Furthermore, he recognized that there are various transportation routes into an urban areas, including railroad, seaport, tram, trains, which represent greater access in the city. Hoyer theorized that, that city tend to grow in the wage shape, as I discussed, which emanating from the central business district, or you can say centroid, to major transportation routes. And that's why due to high level of access, there is higher land value. Thus, in many commercial functions would remain in the CBD. But the manufacturing activity would develop in wage shape surrounding these transportation routes. Residential land use patterns also would grow in the wage shape patterns with a sector of low income household bordering in the manufacturing sector 
द सेक्टर ऑफ मिडल एंड द हायर इनकम ग्रुप हाउस होल्ड लोकेटेड अवे फ्रॉम द इंडस्ट्रियल एरिया इवन इन युअर सिटी यू हैव ऑब्जर्व दैट हायर इनकम ग्रुप विल ऑलवेज लोकेटेड अवे फ्रॉम द इंडस्ट्रियल एरिया हॉर्ट मॉडल अटेम्प्ट टू स्टेट a broader principle of urban organization this model applies to numerous british cities this is what the basics of sector model now understand multi nuclei model the multiple nuclei model is an economical model created by chancy harris and edward alman in 1945 in the article the nature of cities this model describe the layout of city based on chicago we have seen that cities of greater size were manufacturing like small businesses these small businesses district act as a satellite nodes or you can say nuclei of various activities around which the land use pattern form while harris and alman still so that the cbd as a major center of commerce they suggested that specialized cells of activity would develop according to special requirement of certain activities different rent paying abilities and the tendency of some kinds of economic activity to cluster together this creates nodes or nuclei on the other part of the city besides the cbd and thus it names as multiple nuclei model so cities are developed near the small cbd and certain specialized activity would develop uh, according to and nearness to that specific point that's why due to this activity their rent paying capacity their ability and tendency for the economic activity the city is divided into various cluster and this cluster is nothing but multiple nuclei and thus in this model there is center of cbd with its surrounding you will find like number 2 there is light manufacturing unit or you can say wholesaling located along that transport routes then at the same time you will find heavy industry is thought to locate near to the outer edge of the city and perhaps this surrounded by services would occupy the urban periphery harris and alman argued that that city do not grow in a single nucleus but there are several separate nucleus and each nucleus act like the growth point whether it can be of light manufacturing unit heavy manufacturing unit even these manufacturing units are surrounded by low income group and the middle income group at the same time industrial units are kept away from the city town and in this model higher class income group is also away from the city center the example of this kind of development is rapidly growing town or newer town modern city where the large land area is there like you can say houston and los angeles so these are the theory of land use model i'm ending this session here i hope you have learned regarding various land use model these models are of concentric model sector model and multiple nuclei model thanks for watching this video